Soyuz Lake in Oroville, Washington. Correct me if I'm uh, pronouncing that wrong. Send me a comment in this video. But these properties are right next to the lake and right next to public boat access. What else is interesting about these is they're commercially zoned. There is an opportunity to change them back into res residential zoning if you do want, just want to build a simple residential house. Um, but this is an interesting land investment. I actually own three legal lots totaling about one and a half acres or almost two acres, actually. Um, my name is Miles McLaughlin here at Wilco Land. What we do is we buy and sell raw land, offering more of a self-service model for those interested in making a land investment. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to access a property, go over some different FAQs about what you might be able to do with it and what that commercial zoning means. So getting started, just clicking through a few photos. This is a growing area. Um, it's up north on the Canadian border in Okanagan County, um, like by Oroville, Washington. We're right off the lake. I mean, on your second story, I see there's no, um, you know, the photographer, I, the, the photos aren't great here. Um, I'll be honest with you. So there's not a lot of great photos of this property. I um, wish we would have got some drone imagery, wish we would have got some better photos of the views. I do think that, um, you know, with this property, if you were to build a deck or a second story, um, you're going to have pretty sweet lake views here of the property. So um, getting into to what you can do. I own three legal lots right here. So 1.7 acres total. Um, I'll work with you on cash discounts. If you are a cash buyer, get with me, um, you know, especially if you want to have interest in purchasing all three, which adds value to your investment, um, gives you three legal lots, three opportunities to do you know, different things, right? If they allow four RV sites or four tiny homes per lot, that allows you to have what, 12 total on these three lots for like a little oasis on the lake. Um, for people to hunt and fish and and have that um, landing spot like a little resort. So it does give you more options as an investment standpoint, um, as a use standpoint. And we can offer a massive discount if you are buying all three at once, um, whether it be seller financing um, or doing getting a cash deal done with us. Just get with me. I'm always willing to work out a price with somebody. They are zoned commercial. And that brings an interesting point. You know, RV parks would be allowed. Um, there's a lot of information on commercial zoning here. So um, for those interested in pure investment, this is an area, it does have sewer, it does have water, nearby properties have that. You probably have the opportunity to connect to local um, city water and sewer from this site. Um, if not, you're looking at a septic and well, just contact the county or the city about that. Um, they'll have some more information, but they did tell us that some of these areas, some of these nearby properties are being served by city, by water and sewer. So um, just keep that in mind. You know, Maybe you put up a KOA here. Um, there's those guys that started the KOA. I mean, they are, you know, doing really well. I'll put it that way. Just buying land, very minimal investment. You set up a campground here next to Lake Asoyos. Um, and you can see there's really close public access. So I've pulled up the GPS coordinates. All I'm doing, guys, with the coordinates here, and I've got them listed in the website, the center coordinates, just simply copy and paste those coordinates you know, into Google Maps, for example, and I'll show you a bird's eye view of this location. So we're just north of Oroville. Um, we're way up here, right? We're, we're north. Um, we're way up north. And um, this is actually kind of a popular transportation route. So for those interested, you know, goods and services, you know, there is traffic. I mean, there's people coming through here. This is a growing area. There's a golf course right across the border. Um, you know, there's public access points. There's a be beach over here. We know that these rural areas, these recreational areas are growing. There's an airport, right? People are flying in to access this body of water. Um, and it goes for a long ways, right? You connect to, I think this might be the Columbia River here. Um, nope, it's, uh, I'm going to mess this pronunciation up, but Simil Cayman River. Um, and then you've got the Okanagan River right here as well. So, I mean, think fishing, think hunting. Um, I'll pull up Onyx Maps to show you what we're looking at here as well. I believe this is probably all BLM land. So you've got 14,000 acres of BLM land for recreation in your backyard, right? You think about, you know, commercial opportunities. Is it a bunch of tiny homes? Is it a bunch of yurts? Is it a campground? Minimal investment. You know, there's a lot of truckers. There's RVers. There's people traveling um, that need a place to stay, right? And so this is our big chunk of land. It's going to show up as one large chunk of land we bought from this lady. Um, it's going to show up as 2.1 acres here. Um, GIS maps can differ in acreage, right? You're looking at, like I said, roughly two acres. A survey is going to yield that true result at the end of the day. You've got easy road access on 90 here, 97 or Shirley Drive from the backside. You could put in driveways. So you can access from this side here off Shirley Road. That's probably the best place to access. Again, you put a second story in here. You've got some really sweet lake views. 
On top of that, you know, there's it's really close to a public access point down here. So you've got this public access point just south here that offers a boat ramp, it looks like, at Shady Park, maybe. Let me look for another access point. Here's another one. I'm guessing by the looks of it, there's another boat ramp here that brings you onto the Okanagan River, which flows into this lake. So you've got, we're right here on the right side of the road, on the right side of the lake to have public access points if you do have people bringing boats and trailers. So again, just looking around here, we can see a lot of this property out here too. We're at Pacific Northwest National Scenic Trail. It's a 70 mile trail right here. Okanagan National Forest, 20,000 acre chunk of land right there. Again, you don't want to hop into that lake. You've got more bodies of water down here. There's another boat ramp to get onto Blue Lake. So again, for folks interested in outdoor recreation and getting up north, um, there's a lot of BLM land. There's a lot of hunting land and national forest for one to explore up here and a lot of water to, um, to get on. So a lot of hunting, a lot of fishing, a lot of outdoor recreation exists up here. You know, whether it be, you know, some, some other business idea, some sort of resort, some sort of, you know, campground, it sounds like that's going to be something the county will work with, especially Okanagan County. They're usually pretty good and will work with you on different ideas. Um, I did mention we could potentially rezone these as residential. You have three residential legal lots. Maybe you have three rental homes. Maybe you have one for yourself and a couple other homes on those. So whether it be buying one um, or all three of them, get with me. We'll work with you, like I said, if you are a cash buyer. So I wanted to go into land use and zoning. Um, commercial zoning information can be found here. I'm not going to read through all of it with you right now. I'm going to let you do some of that. What, what they allow. Um, and you can always call the county if you have ideas that aren't covered here. If you want to see, you know, feel them out on what they would allow, um, give them a call. You know, like I said, they might work with you rezoning these to residential lots or working with you on a commercial or business venture here. So get with us here at Wilco Land. I do have other properties for sale. You're welcome to view this anytime. My name is Miles McLaughlin. Um, take a peek at the website. You can see some more land listings here in Washington and other states across the Western United States. 605-299-5553. Thanks for viewing.